Hi guys, and welcome to your December 2019. This is gonna be the what aren't they telling you for the beautiful sign of Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This is gonna be for the latter half of the month, the 15th through the 31st. Remember, time is fluid. When you catch this video is when it's for you, okay? My videos are timeless. They have no expiration dates, okay? So, there is something going on here. Excuse me while I lube up. Um, your partner. Hold on. Sugar rim dazzle glass for whoever want to know. Because I'm not putting it in the description box. <laughs> it's Mac. Anyway, Virgos. I was going into your energy. And I did not see anything that your partner was upset about. So I'm letting you know right now that I'm going to have to clarify this because everything is looking good on the outside looking in, but somebody is wearing a false self mask here. So we're going to get to the bottom of it together. You like, dang, Mar, you ain't wasting no time. No, because I don't understand what's going on. I've been sitting here sitting with this energy like, what is the problem? Well, okay, maybe I do see it. Okay, fine. All right, maybe I lied. I see it now. <laughs> hey, guys, if you are new here with me, I am Marv. I'm going to be delivering the messages to you. What we do in this particular reading is we find out what your partner isn't telling you, how they may be feeling, and what actions they may take um, in this uh, minute that we have together. What I want you guys to know is, is that the energy can go both ways, although I am asking Spirit to provide me messages for your partner, okay? If it resonates, great. If it doesn't let it skate, let's go. Now, I did pull one card for the collective, and that is birth. I did the exact same thing in the first half of the set of the videos, birth this here please go down below and find out what this energy how it can help you for the collective and i'm hoping that it will propel you and help you out as we go into um carry us out through the rest of this year and propel us into new beginnings and the top of the new decade um, I hope that you guys harness that Gemini energy and release what no longer serves you. Let's move on, okay? So, I feel like there's been little breakups. I don't even want to call it a breakup. There's been some arguing between you guys. Okay, let's get into their... They are basically... You know what came to me? Because I feel alone. What's the, uh, look at me. What's the name of uh, her? Uh, focus. Focus. That's, it just came to me. I feel alone even when we're alone and you don't have a clue. Virgo, your person and this, yes. Okay, just listen to this. They got guardian. At times you feel lonely, even amidst company. The reality is, is that you're never alone for you are loved more than you can possibly imagine. An angel is close to you at present and you will feel their presence in the coming days. Watch for synchronicities in the words of a song you hear, a falling leaf or a feather by or a butterfly fluttering by. These are all signs from your angels who are here to guide and illuminate your path. Okay. The way is made clear for you always on the right path and your angels will always protect you. Um, there is no right or wrong path. Ultimately, all paths lead to the great ocean of love inside of your heart. Why are they feeling like this? Well, there's a couple of different layers going on in this energy. Guardian. Um, I don't know whether they're missing their parents um, for the holidays, whether they're away from their family. I don't know, but it seems to be that someone is feeling alone 
when they're with you. So they're kind of withdrawing in the hermit. And this is Virgo energy. So you could be connecting with the Virgo. You're showing up in your own energy. So maybe this is what you're doing to them. And they're feeling alone because maybe their needs or something that is beckoning inside of them is not being met, Virgo. I don't know. But throughout it all, they are still willing to take the risk. They're not going anywhere with the fool's energy. They will walk to the end of the earth with you. They have no problem with doing that. They just feel alone for some strange reason. Um, well, I just gave you a reason. I don't want to say some strange reason. I am going to clarify. In the heart of the matter, we do have the Four of Cups. Now, I can pull out beautiful energy in this particular card, but given the circumstances of the energy that I'm picking up, Virgo, they're bored with something or they're feeling like, and I really don't like to use that word. It sounds so unfair to be in a relationship with someone and you're bored. Like we're at Six Flags Great America or something and, you know, I'm you're, my relationship with you is a roller coaster and you're bored. I know that's petty, guys, but I, I really don't like that meaning. But honestly, that is how this person is feeling. I don't even know how to convey that. And I'm a cap moon. So like what? Like you're on the same page. You work toward the same goal. This to me honestly feels like their emotional needs are not being met. That's honestly what I'm feeling like. It's not like they're bored. They feel like this is one sided. They have tried in this Knight of Swords energy to let you know. But it's best for them to hide because something doesn't get met, something doesn't get done about it, and they don't want to end the relationship. So they kind of sit and deal with that. Their truth is not being revealed. They try to take their truth in little moments, but they're not quite letting you know. And then we have the four of wands. So it doesn't stop them celebrating with you, having a good time with you, really still on the path to marriage, you guys. There's been some little breakups, though. Peak of the past indicates that you guys needed to get to know one another while you were doing that. You see that innermost bond at the bottom? Reveal your innermost selves to one another. That did not get done. Um, and then free yourself. So they really do feel like in the past nine to 12 months, they've been struggling with feeling like maybe they're, you know, this just came up where you, you can be with somebody and you feel like you really don't know them. I think there's, this is a lot of expectations or things that they had an expectation of, of you, but once you guys took it to the next level, they realized that everything that glittered wasn't gold, possibly. This seems like a let down sort of energy, um, being let down. But I do see there is a child here. So this is the page of swords. Either this child brought an obstacle between you two, or there are obstacles between you two. That has something to do with this Ten of Pentacles. Hello. Ow. Let me put it together for you. That's what it is. It's something pertaining to the child and or family. Now, that is interesting because if we look here at the top of the deck, we are healing some family issues. Go figure. So with that being said, <clears throat> This bottom of the deck, definitely kind of exactly. All right, now it's starting to make sense. There is a situation which makes sense. This Ten of Pentacles is being affected. Bottom of the deck, last nine to 12 months, there's been an abundance of issues regarding this Ten of Pentacles. How your partner can take care of you, something with family because the top of the deck has healing family issues. So Virgo, this is something that they're feeling like that's within your immediate environment that is putting a damper or, um, on their 10 of pentacles with you. This feels like outside energy. Okay. They're being guided to free themselves from that. And then when I see this page of swords, is this a child, something with school, 
money, something. There's something, an obstacle that this page of swords brought to the party. And that's a touchy subject because if you love me, you better love my kids. I understand. I don't feel like this is the person not loving the child. I feel like the child and the Ten of Pentacles that this person came to try to provide for you in your life, Virgo, has been challenged by Page of Swords, either obstacle after obstacle or a child that lies in the balance here. It's not the child's fault. It's the people that care for the child's fault. Um, you could have inherited, inherited the child, Virgo. It could be this person's child or it could be yours. Remember, they're not telling you this. So they're um, admitting here that something has um, a lot of this four of cups energy stems back to a child or some type of problem when trying to obtain the ten of cups and care for the family. Um, ten of cups, ten of pentacles. Okay. They're being guided to keep an open mind right now. Okay. They're also being guided that someone is wearing a false self mask where well, they're wearing a false self mask, but I don't think they think you are. I think that when it comes down to this situation, they're unhappy. They're wearing a false self mask to protect the relationship because they don't want to lose you but they're not telling you how unhappy they is they are when it comes down to this and then worth waiting for they know that divine timing is at work here but there is something um obviously that presents itself they do not want they they don't want to lose you okay then we have the emperor energy, Aries energy, fire, Air, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or obviously the emperor. And at the top of the deck, we also have the queen of swords. Now, the queen of swords, that's unbiased truth. Okay. Um, and yes, healing family issues. So this came up about, who I remember this coming up before months ago that the healing family issues they want you to step up in some type of family issue and and handle it and put some boundaries up this came up a while ago months ago and then reconciliation um with this emperor there was probably a breakup or an argument but then before you guys actually split split like i feel like you live together um, because this Ten of Pentacles is here and there's children and blah, blah, blah. But if you don't, there was probably a little slight breakup and there was a reconciliation that was here. But I need, I want to clarify a couple of cards, um, because I need to know there's definitely some family issues going on, Virgo. They are stating that this is on your end of the spectrum here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get the clarifying deck because I'm just in that type of mood. Um, before I give you the what actions they're going to take as represented here with the Island Time Wellness card, I do see I do see that they feel like this is a one sided relationship. I'm just going to let you know that because we might as well do it now since I've said it, the golden mirror. OK, so self-absorbed narcissist. Uh oh, one sided relationship, love bombing, not good at all. OK, that could represent. Um, this four of cups. We also have Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, meeting, hes hesitation. Um, you know, they're not leaving. They're still very much so invested in this. And then we have heartbroken, um, deeply hurt, sad, separation. That goes with the reconciliation. So, you know, I normally pull three um, and because they always end up resonated with something that I have down here. So, yeah. Um, there was a heartbreak due to a brief, but now reconciled situation. Um, the family issues actually could involve you. You could just be a married couple who has had some issues. Um, but I don't, I just don't feel it that way. I try to be open-minded. I'm sorry. I just don't feel that. I feel like this is third party energy not third party situation as in a romantic situation but family family issues i do not feel like the family issues that are represented in this card are you 
Virgo and your person you're connected with and your child or you guys' children. I feel like this is your family or the person that you are connecting with, their family, if it resonates that way. Clarify this for, oh, of cups for me, spirit. I need to know. Okay, thank you. Yep, told you. Five of wands. Backbiting, competition. There are opinions here. That's the reason why, and it has something to do with La Familia. One of you guys' is families. And Virgo, I'm feeling like it's yours. There are opinions. Here, it, this came up. This came up. There's a hill of Guys, I feel like this came up, I want to say in the spring or the summer. Um, and they wanted you, Virgo, to step inside of your truth and really do something about the chaos that went on on your side of the family, which affected your relationship. The, the, that energy is back. They feel like this is one sided, Virgo. Absolutely. Yes. I don't know what is going on here. I want to actually clarify one more thing. They want you to move into this queen of swords and exercise some of this unbiased truth and clarity and really go for it. Really go for it. We can go. We can go for it. They want you to go for it. I'm going to clarify the not. No, 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 no. I think I'm just going to do deception. I know why. Clarify deception for me. Why is deception here, spirit? Okay, thank you. Why is deception here, spirit, and on my board <clears throat> for Virgo and their partner? Oh, yeah. Because it is a huge burden with the Ten of Wands, they are carrying a load. So something that you are not doing, Virgo, has presented itself in way of a heavy load for your partner. They will not leave you. However, they want you to operate in this queen of swords energy, please. And enact or exact some unbiased truth. And I say unbiased because you are biased because it's your family, your people. There is a situation here and they are really hurt about it. And it's stressing them out because they feel like you aren't doing something. This could represent a, a father, a grandfather, or something like that. I cannot believe this is coming back up. Or this could be what they want you to do. I'll clarify this emperor just to uh, keep it funky here because now I want to know. Um, you know, this could represent an elder. Somebody that you're listening to, Virgo. Um, maybe, you know, that, that very, um, strong personality, big mama, auntie, granddad, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Clarify this emperor for me. Who is this emperor? Now, if I get some bad energy behind this emperor, king of, yes, I'm, look it, king of pentacles, not really telling me anything, but somebody holds the money, the ticket. Oh my God, King of Cups. How many kings are we? Is this multiple people? Who are they? Is this a bunch of brothers? Who are these people, Spirit? Um. Oh my God. Clarify. Thank you. Can I get something? Okay, so somebody is standing in the way. This I'm going to leave it at that because I can be clarifying all night. Four of Wands. So the Emperor is being clarified by a whole new king that holds the, the pinnacle. A whole nother king, possibly, that holds the, the feelings. <laughs> wow. Holds the happiness or presents an obstacle. Because remember, that's those people. So, so far, we got you, Virgo, your person, this emperor, a king of cups, and the king of wands that stand in the way of the four of wands. And... We do have a double confirmation that the Four of Wands is here twice. Clarifying deck, main energy. Something or somebody is standing in the way, or a group of people, I'm putting these clarifiers away, as represented in the night or indicated, oops, in the energy of this Five of Wands has opinions, 
competition, backbiting. I don't think these are exes of you, Virgo, that's coming in. Like I said, this is family. These are family members. Those personalities could be um, sisters. They can be brothers, um, uncles, just people who have strong opinions that Virgo, your partner, is feeling like you're listening to. Um, almost as if maybe you need to get their blessing before you guys walk into your four of wands. Two fours here is an apology. Okay. Two fours here is an apology. Go ahead. So they're feeling alone even when you guys are alone. They're feeling like something. Um, they're not being emotionally fulfilled. Whoa. Thank you, spirit. Emotionally fulfilled. Oh, right now. Because they love you. Oh, I commit to the practice of seeing all the good in things. And this person won't leave you. Three o'clock high, Virgos. And don't you tell me this isn't you. Whoever this is, I'm a three o'clock high you. I know you're, I'm aging myself. You guys know what three o'clock high is. <laughs> Black your eye at three o'clock. <laughs> Love. So, pride. Yes. I love myself and I see myself in everywhere. Their pride is crushed as well. Um, I think they feel like these other people mean more. Oh, guilt. And they're feeling guilty about something as well. They feel like these people, well, they feel guilty because I, I release any beliefs that no longer assist my soul's growth. But yeah, they feel guilty about even coming at you about something like this. Um, but they've been spending a lot of time by themselves. They also feel like these people... Um, standing in the way of their abundance with you. I'm a limitless being and can manifest wherever I desire in this physical um, r reality. They want to move too. They want to leave and take a risk and risk it all and walk inside of this four of wands with you. And you are a little hesitant. That's been a narrative for a while. I hope we change it in a new decade. Virgo, would you marry this person? And don't get in the comments talking about this person is a this and that. That's not this person. <laughs> if you resonate with this for real, please give this person a chance. Because I promise you every single reading for like a year, it's like Virgo, please marry me. I wish I had those problems. <laughs> So that's what's going to happen. Um, they're not going to leave you, though. They're And, you know, they're hurting themselves. They're not telling you how they feel. I just did. So try to take it easy on them, please. That's so cute. Look at that. Where's that love? That's so beautiful. And then I'm going to leave you with the four of wands. This is such a beautiful card. Look at looky, looky. Look at those purples. Look it, look it, look it. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I certainly hope it resonated with at least one Virgo. I will not be available from the 22nd, guys, until January the 6th. I want you guys to have a beautiful Christmas, a wonderful, abundant, beautiful new start to the decade and your new year. And I will see you guys at the top of the year. I am going to be working to uh, finalize all of my Channel 2 uploads. I do have some year-end stuff to give you on that channel if you don't know go ahead and go over there and subscribe to that channel i appreciate you guys you will get the remaining six of these videos scattered out within the next two days everything will be uploaded no later than wednesday and i might get an opportunity to do it by tuesday hmm that's what I'm going to leave you with. I love you guys. Mwah. Thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscribes. I will see you in 2020. This is your last video of what aren't they telling you for 2019. Bye, Virgo.